Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Dawn. And together, we're the Well-Prepared Travelers. We recently stayed at the Coronado Springs Resort, which is a moderate resort on Disney property. So we're going to tell you our perception of that resort. Okay. So one of the biggest things to know is that it is a, one of the large campus resorts with an internal bus system that is not really internal. Okay, so their bus system does not have... An internal bus if you need to get from in there are four bus stops and if you need to get from any of those the of three of them to the main building you just hop on any bus that goes to the Magic Kingdom Epcot Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios and the last stop, the mm -hmm. last stop yeah last will stop. be the main building in the reverse if you need to go from the main building I've lost my train of thought. No, that's right. From the main building to any other. Then you get on Disney Springs. So it was it was fairly easy to figure out you know, once once we read it and got it and it was good. So it was it was easy. Yep, but, they have a posted sign there explains it. Mm-hmm. And so. it's also we were in the cabanas. We're in the cabanas, yes. And it was not too bad a walk to get to the main lobby. Some of the, and I actually don't think it would be a bad walk from anywhere because they do have the, the path that goes over the, over the lake. Yes. That would make it more direct. So, it's not a bad layout. It's not, um, even no, if you're far away. I don't but think while it's, we were there, it was under construction. So, at some times, one walkway was closed and we had to go to another walkway. So Something to be aware of maybe the next year they, they're really they're adding a, a restaurant they're adding a bunch of stuff yes. so just be aware that they are under construction right now um thinking of another restaurant dining dining oh my not my favorite <laughs> uh resort for dining um the food, the food court, court closes at 11 o'clock yeah and it literally closes they have a i mean they have a gate that closes whereas like with some of the others it's open all the time you walk through and get a drink right but but so if the park's open late and you're going to be at, to the park till 11 or later you need to eat at the park because food courts closed now the grab and go is open till midnight mm -hmm. but they're very limited choices very there limited. and the lounge is open till midnight but no children allowed so and they also have i mean they have a very small menu so well, if you don't have children it's it the lounge is probably was our favorite place to yes. get a bite. It was even better than the food court. The prices were reasonable. And you had somebody bring it to you and it's hot. Yeah. So I felt like the lounge was good. And yeah. then they have two sit down restaurants that uh, we did not try. <laughs> but but they also they close. Like 10. Yeah, I, I mean, think. I mean, so, I mean, like I said, limited food, uh, room service. You can order till midnight. And it might take you an hour to get your food. And so. I th that's right, there's room service too. So you have room service, a food court, a grab and go, a lounge, and two table services. Yep. I think that's so, it. A lot of choices, just they close up. More for during the day. Yeah, and then it's also closing the pool. I guess it's standard Disney thing, but it closes at nine. But the the pool is a nice large complex. Um, has a has a playground, has a slide, obviously. Pool there might not close at nine, because mm. you have to go into there to get to the um, arcade. Right, because the arcade is out there by the pool. And the laundry, so all of those things are out there by the pool. Yep. So maybe it's. Oh, I we didn't try to go to the pool, so mm. you said it has slide, right? Yes, slide, and has. Um, they have sand. I don't remember having I don't sand. Have sand. But it was very nice theming for the pool mm. and the playground. And it was very sunny. It was. <laughs> Not many shaded spots <laughs> at that pool. Um, so, yeah, the pool looked nice. The arcade being right there. Ping pong. I don't know. They had a bunch of stuff. It was a good active area. And then just overall, I think the layout of the resort was well done. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, you know, your typical hub and spoke type of thing. So... Everywhere was reasonable to get to the places you want to go to. Yep. So, so what was your overall impression of Coronado? Not my favorite. 
but I would stay there again if we got a really good deal. Yes. That's kind of my gun. If, if the price was right, I would stay there. Um, my... I don't really know what it was about it, but it, it just wasn't... Not my favorite. Yeah. Just, but it was a nice, nice resort, and it was a good option. If you got a good deal. I don't know that I'd pay the full price, then. <laughs> What they ask for it sometimes. No, because there are others that I like Much a whole better. lot more. So. Yes. But, all right. So? Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> if you enjoy this video and, like more, and would like more like it, give us a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe down below and you'll get notification of all of our reviews and thoughts. Oh, yeah. Hit that little bell. <laughs> so, it'll let you know when we've got a new video. Right, you got to hit the bell now. Yeah. Hit the bell. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll see you next time.